Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome to another edition of PSVR News. We've got about three things to talk about today, so let's just jump right in there, shall we? Topic number one is the PS5 reveal event. It has been rescheduled, we now know the new days. So, you're probably all aware, PS5 was supposed to be revealed, or at least a showcase of its games, was supposed to be revealed on last Thursday, which is June 3rd. Now that date has been moved to June 11th, so it's a delay of exactly one week. So it's going to be happening this Thursday. It's going to be the same times as it was supposed to be. So that's 9 p.m. GMT, which is my time. That is 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that is 1 p.m. on the West Coast of America. So you can probably figure out what time it is for you based on that, I hope. So the event itself is supposed to be like just over an hour long, I believe, and it's going to be a pre-recorded show that they're going to be showing. It's going to be in 10 ACP. It's going to be 30 frames per second. And this is all coming from Sony's blog, by the way. And they also recommend that we all wear headphones when we're listening to it, because apparently they're going to be doing something with audio that they say is going to be like pretty cool or whatever. So if you want to get the most out of that experience, then wear some headphones. So let me know in the comments what you want to see from this PS5 reveal event, what you think we will see. You know, is there anything crazy that you want to see? And are you excited? Are you moist for this event? I need to know. I need to know about your moisture. All right, moving on to topic number two. So this story relates to the first story, which is the PS5 reveal event. So recently, very recently, in fact, I put up a poll on Twitter and on YouTube asking if you guys thought we were going to see anything PSVR related at the PS5 reveal. Now, so far, it's only been a few hours, but so far, the majority of people are not expecting to see anything PSVR related. But there may be some hope, and that is thanks to Aesthetic Gamer. He's a Twitter guy. He has some kind of connections in the world of Resident Evil at the very least. He has a good track record, this guy knows a thing or two. So he's been tweeting over the last few weeks and he's becoming more and more certain that we are going to see Resident Evil A's revealed at this PS5 event. So he has a few reasons for thinking this. Firstly, he was saying that the Resident Evil series, the entire series, went on sale on June 4th, which is one day after the original event was supposed to happen before the delay. So that's a bit of a suspicious timing, and it's not just on PlayStation, it went on sale on every platform, and it was the entire series, which is kind of unusual. His other bit of evidence then is that Steam, you know, Valve's Steam over on PC, they have rearranged the Resident Evil listing, so they've tidied it up, they've got everything looking more uniform now than it was. Apparently, I had no idea, but this is something that was a long requested thing from Steam users, they wanted it to look more tidy or whatever, and they, this, this is what they wanted for years. Steam, or Valve, I should say, never did it, but they bothered to do it now, in the last few days, so again, suspicious timing. Now, the title of Resident Evil Ace is actually supposed to be Village Resident Evil. So remember Resident Evil 7 was a biohazard Resident Evil, at least in Japan. So Aesthetic Gamer thinks that maybe they're tidying up these titles because it'll make more sense to fit in that weird title or make it more clear, more concise, rather than just random village thrown in there. And of course we've talked in the past about this Resident Evil 8 game. We, If you want to know the details about what the game itself actually is supposedly going to be, because it's all based on leaks, then there will be a video in the description, I've talked about this in the past, you can check that out if you want. But anyway, what's the point of me talking about Resident Evil Ace? Well, that is because I think Resident Evil Ace has the best chance of giving us PS viewer support out of any title. Obviously, the big reason for that is that it's a direct follow-up to Resident Evil 7, which had PS viewer support, and apparently that was a success. Capcom were happy with the numbers that they saw for the PS viewer support, and Resident Evil Ace is going to be like directly after Resident Evil 7. It's apparently going to have the same character, Ethan, it's going to have the same first-person style, which, you know, I think we all agree suits virtual reality more than any other kind of style. Well, at least in my opinion, I won't say we all agree. So we should also keep in mind that if Resident Evil 8 does indeed get revealed at this event, it's likely going to be a cross-generational game. Now, what does that mean? That means it's going to come out in PS4 and PS5. So we're looking at a potential PS5 virtual reality title because, of course, the PS5 is going to support the PS4. This could be the first big PS5 VR title that will get us all just moist. Just moist as hell. You can't believe how moist we will be if this happens. So fingers crossed. We will find out on Thursday. Let me know in the chat, you know, or rather the comments. Let me know in the comments below how moist you think you will be if this happens. I need to know. Moving on to the next topic. 
Our final topic today is going to be all about Alvo. Now, before I even begin, no, there has been no updates in regards to the open beta. Last I heard, they've been waiting on a new submission date from Sony. Nothing has changed as far as I'm aware. They haven't given any updates on their Discord. Well, they have given an update. The update is that they're still waiting. So Sony is holding things back here. I think it's been about three weeks now that they've been waiting on this new submission date from Sony. So I'm starting to think it feels less and less likely that we're going to get this open beta in June, maybe July at the earliest now. Although I'd love to be wrong about that. But if you want some good news about Alvo, then check out the footage playing behind me because this is new gameplay footage that the studio Merden Pole has revealed themselves and it shows off the desert environment that they have in the game, the desert map I should say, the daytime variant and the nighttime variant and they're also showing off this bolt action rifle that they have here so you can get a look at that in action you can tell me what you think in the comments below one thing i noticed well a couple of things i noticed i should say is that there appears to be a radar attached to the left hand of the player it was the right hand i can't remember it's a radar attached to the player's hand and it moves with the hands in the game although the radar itself doesn't appear to have any map detail which is why i'm not really sure if it is a mini map or maybe it's more of a radar it does have dots on it though makes me think that that'll be a way for you to keep track of your teammates and maybe even enemies if they're making noise or something like that which is kind of which is something we've seen before like in Call of Duty or whatever when somebody shoots you can, they show up on the radar even Firewall has that if somebody shoots you can see them on your mini map on your hand but I've also noticed about that radar is that there is like an incomplete green line going around us I'm beginning to wonder if that is the health indicator in the game because it's not a complete circle it kind of seems weird that it's not complete so I'm suspecting maybe it is health I could be wrong about that maybe they've even talked about this already I just haven't seen it so let me know what you think in the comments yourselves I'll have a link in the description so if you want to watch the video yourself if you haven't seen this yourself already it's been out for a couple of days now I'm a bit slow to cover so apologies for that but yeah check it out and let me know what you think and that will be it for today's video lads and ladies thank you very much for watching but before I go let me give a huge thank you to my supporters over on patreon.com forward slash petrifying pumpkins their names are on screen right now thanks to their generosity they're helping this channel grow and in particular I'd like to give a huge shout out to the top tier over on patreon so let me shout out to chopped 517 Pete Hawkins Columbus Thomas the third tradition and crumb for pledging up at the top tier thank you very much for that support really do appreciate it if you'd like to join patreon the link will be in the description below but don't worry if you don't want to do that i will still be more than happy with all the usual you know the likes the subscribes the usual shite like that i'll be very happy with that thank you one last thing let me thank decepticon for letting me use his music in all my videos you can check him out over on bandcamp spotify wherever i'll have the link to his like main hub area in the comments below to check them out. Until next time, stay moist and I'll see you in the next one.